she couldn't stop laughing and admiring herself and blushing. And I was like, really, do? But then again, guys, just getting to this face beat. Like, the transformation is amazing. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to another video it's your girl tessie and yes it's another monday and this monday we're gonna be doing a transformation video yes welcome to an episode of i'm not a makeup artist but i just love to do some makeup so today i'm gonna be glamming up my friend nikki nikki is gonna be my model today i'm gonna sleek her face off for a birthday party so the first thing i'm gonna be doing is apply some primer on her face and then i'm gonna start putting some foundation and guys do not judge me because like i said before i'm not a makeup artist i just love to put some makeup on so please be nice like seriously be damn nice so the next thing is to put some concealer on because baby girls got some really dark circles under her eyes so we need to pop that up and then i'm gonna be highlighting her nose because you need that bridge of nose to look really sleek like straight penciled in nice so yes we're gonna do all of that and then i'm gonna go ahead to blend it and the next thing is actually put some true match um foundation as it is dark and that will definitely give me like a contour look so i'm just gonna use that to contour her cheekbone and then i'm gonna go ahead and blend it so unfortunately my camera wasn't actually recording but i went ahead and blended it and then added some setting powder just for it to keep setting while i do her brows so guys this is the most important part of makeup i'm not a makeup Makeup artist, but I sure do know that if you've gotten if you get your brows wrong, then the whole makeup is going down the drain. So, yes, I like to start by shading the brows instead of drawing it. When you shade it, it gives you a more flawless, a more kind of like a fab touch look. But then when you draw it, it looks fake in a way my opinion though <laughs> don't come from me anyway so yeah you're just gonna do shade that and then um when once you're doing it right you see that you're actually getting the shape of her brows or the shape of your brows depending on who you're applying the makeup for so i did all of that here and then i went on and on and on and trying to fill in the spaces that needed filling and after that i did the other part of the brows and yeah basically it was it was really nice and then i went on to brush it you know like take the excess pencil sometimes the pencil can have like a little you know crumbs so i went out to use um some brush and then i combed that out and it was looking like this so the next thing is my eyeshadow and you're gonna need a base for your eyeshadow if you want your eyeshadow to like catch and stay well and i'm gonna be using this one from maybelline fit me it's one of my favorite one so i'll definitely go ahead and add it on to the eyelid and then use my beauty blender from revolution makeup to like blend it all down i love this beauty blender because it just it's so little it just get into every tiny space that you need to like blend and it just does the work so i'm just gonna go ahead and start um highlighting the brows more like cleaning the you know brows up and this is one of the very important steps in makeup when your brows are highlighted properly your makeup pops more and you know it comes out more beautiful so i'm just gonna go ahead and use my angle brush and then start carefully cleaning off the excess of the brows underneath the brows and also at the top of the brows from here on the makeup routine and procedures is pretty straightforward and simple so i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy this video and i'll be back in the final look to 
you know show you guys how the makeup turned out don't go anywhere keep watching and enjoy my music <laughs>
all right people so this is the final look of the face i think i did a good job for a not a makeup artist kind of girl like i'm just a regular girl oh shit like i left something in her head <laughs> okay so that's all um so i put the wrap strips just to give the head some kind of wave which came out really really nice and i love the color of the scalp like a bit tinted it came out looking slayed but then again we decided to try something different so we tried a couple of hairs we tried the blonde short one and she was like nah this is not me so we took that out and then we went in to try the long but just the uh, you know not curly not nothing just a long bougie kind of hair and then she was like ah oh, no nah, this is not me overall guys we went this with this curly side part synthetic hair which gives her this amazing fabulous look and i'm so pleased that the makeup and the hair came out looking like this thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so whenever i post a video you will be the first to know in the meantime guys Drink lots of water, moisturize, and I'll definitely be seeing you in another video. Bye.